All right, so I did make a decision here. I'm wrapping up the uh, taping here. These bookmark things, they're just not working. They're not sticking, and I just don't want to, like, try it and then have it screw up. I'm going to try to roll it to have them all fall off and just make a mess when I'm trying to paint it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off, and I'm just going to cut out a stencil that I can use spray paint with. This sheet of plywood that I chose to be the bottom sheet, I cut the bottom edge at 40 degrees angle, so that way when I put it up on the wall, it will flush mount with the kickboard. Here's all the boards that are taped, and I figured what video would it be complete without the time lapse of painting these three panels. So we painted it all red. It's had a little time to dry now. So me and my little helper are going to peel off the tape and the stickers and see what came out with this. Hoping it turns out because otherwise I wasted a lot of time. So I spared you all the noise of hammering, but we hammered in all the T-nuts for all the additional holes. And at first those T-nuts are gonna be filled with LEDs. So I'm actually gonna do a little magnetized or tape or something like that that will tape the moonboard LEDs into the alternate uh, T-nut holes. But as I mentioned before, once my friend uh, wants his holes back that he's just loaning to me and the LED set, then I will already have the T-nuts in place. All right, so I have reinforced the joist work there and there, and I'll add some more as needed. But what I'm ready to do is I'm ready to cut out these joists right there and there and there, the three of them. And I'll reinforce them again, tie them back in, but they've been tied into like three or four different things already. So um, I think it's gonna be pretty solid already. All right, so there's one of them out. You can see I tied it back in here. So now I got just two more to finish off and then we'll be good to go. All right, so we're ready to put this up here. This is gonna be the bottom sheet here. I've got this hold here as a handlebar and I've got some screws that are pre-placed in here as well. I got this in thanks to some help from my boys. And now we'll just rest the next one up on top of that lip. So we now have two up. This third one is gonna be really hard. Also, this is my disappointed face in this paint job or the quality of the paint and how easily it pulled off. So it's supposed to be cabinet grade, the hardener, and I just don't think it was what I thought it was. My guess is it's not gonna stick. And so a lot of this, every time I pull a hold off, it's gonna pull paint off too. So, Ugh. frustrated, but it is what it is. It looks decent um, and we'll touch it up, touch up the gray for sure, but I am disappointed. Maybe we'll use spray paint or something like that and that might have enamel in it. All right, so now that I'm waiting on some big help for that highest one there. What I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start working on this 25 degree wall. So I've got one of those panels prepped and I'm actually gonna be working my way top down on that one because I wanna make sure that it sits flush on that joist right there, up against it. So it's gonna butt up right up against that. So what I've done is I've set this piece here, basically a ledge that we can just rest the bottom of the plywood on to exactly four feet and then we'll be able to screw this one in and we'll do the second sheet underneath that and it will leave about eight inches or so uh, on the bottom and so i do have a strip of uh, eight feet wide plywood just sitting around here somewhere somewhere in this pile here 
that I believe is close to eight inches. And so I think it'll work out perfect being able to reuse a lot of this plywood. And that'll just be down near the bottom. So um, it'll be probably one of the junkier sheets, but it will be used for pretty much just feet, you know, footholds on the start. So no big deal. So we've now got two panels up on the 25 as well as this eight inch piece here. What I'm gonna work on now is the, the foot plate right here. So I've got this piece that I was able to use from our, my Minnesota wall and I literally only have to cut off a few inches and then it'll fit right in there. So that's what I'm gonna do next. And then what I didn't remember is that at 45 degrees, it's not the same depth as a regular two by four. So I needed to go deeper, so. And bada bing, we got a kickboard. So let's see if it lives up to its name, kickboard. There we go. It is another day and we're at the home wall build here. And I'm still waiting on the manpower to get that up there. And I'm gonna do some kind of pulley system to get a giant sheet of plywood up there because it's gonna be tough and high and all that good stuff. So I don't wanna do it by myself. So what I'm doing now is we're adding in the footholds for the moon board. And I want to show you that I'm not, not actually using the traditional footholds. I'm using the screw on footholds that come with it. They're actually the exact same mold. Um, they're just screw ons instead of bolts. And since I have the two by 12 as my kicker, it takes those screw on holds great. So I'm just screwing those in at the appropriate heights for each of the rows. So I got one row in and let's finish the rest. So I've already pre-marked them. So I'm just gonna line up this, my mark with the center of the hold. And the holds go on the bad way, meaning the slopey side up instead of the in-cut side up. So they make you work extra hard on the moon board. Now what I'm about to do, and I'm not really looking forward to it, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just be touching up the paint. So I figured out what went wrong because this paint on this wall is super durable. It's not coming off. It's not really chipping or anything like that. And it's not sticking to the holds. So it's because it was on bare wood and just figuring out that the paint didn't really like the previous layer of paint. And so that's what happened there. So my bad on not sanding or, you know, primering or whatever, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna try to make this look a little bit better before we throw the rest of the moon board holds up. I'm much more pleased with that. It's not perfect, but much more pleased with that. I think it looks much better. Yet another day here. I'm really kind of at a little bit of a standstill on what things I can do like right now because I what I really want to do is I really want to get all the wiring for the moon board done but I need that last sheet up there so as you can see behind me I have a little experiment here we're gonna run a little bit of test run with a pulley system for getting this last sheet up here so let's see if this works all right so we got it preliminarily set up here Got one of my helpers there. Got one of my helpers here. They're gonna pull on the rope as I guide it up. And then they're gonna hold that rope up there as I get it into position and screw it into place. left on the battery yeah so I just drilled this three-quarter inch hole right here 
and that is for this reset switch that comes with the moon board. So this will literally just slide in there. So I'm going to feed the wires through there. So I have my little helper, Gavin, on the, on the back of the wall there. All right, here you go. Pull this. Now that I have the button installed for the moon board, I'm going to go behind the wall and start threading in the LEDs. 